All right. Bracket the Yahawa, bracket the Yahawa Sai, bracket the Yahawa, bracket the Yahawa Sai, bracket the Yahawa, bracket the Yahawa Sai, by Son of Haku Das, want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone Ruel, peace and blessings, health and wellness to the house of David the elect. All right. Today I want to go into a topic entitled Remember King David. All right. Remember King David. All right. Because the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. All right. And Something that was just on my spirit, you know, I'm about to, um, you know, do my thing for Caesar, man, clock in for Caesar, but something that was on my spirit before I do that, it just hit me, like, everything you go through, even though there's an inheritance for you, you pretty much got a, got a trial and error for it, you, you pretty much got to go through hell for it, man, or you have to till the land for it, man, and that's why I entitled this Remember King David, because although it was predestined for King David to rule over Israel as the king over Israel, okay? You, you saw what he had to do when the kingdom was being transitioned from um, King Saul to King David. King Saul was after his life. King David had to camp in the wilderness. All right, King David had to run for his life, man. Okay? All right, so although it was already in, uh, predestined, it was already written for King David to rule, all right? He had to go through basically hell to rule, man, before that took place. So, hey, as it says in the book of Acts, all right, that through much tribulation shall we inherit the kingdom. So we're basically, hey, because the scripture says what? In Amos, he's going to raise up the tabernacles of David, all right? And it's going to, history is going to reinvent itself. It's going to recycle itself, all right? So, like, history is going to repeat itself, all right? So we're going to be like King David, all right, when, uh, before he inherited his kingdom, man. All right, we're going to be in the wilderness. It's going to tell you, all right, hey, be as the pilgrims, man. So a lot of us, we're going to go through our hour of temptation, all right, like King David went through, man, when Saul, King Saul's after his life. All right, the, the world is going to turn against us. Pursuant to the book of Matthew, you should be hated of uh, you should be hated of all men for my namesakes, man. That's equivalent spiritually to King Saul and his men being after you, man. Okay? All right, so... All right, and that's like it's the same that these things must happen before you inherit that throne, man. All right, so all because we have a kingdom, all right, promised to us if we endure. Okay, the the key thing is we have to endure. All right, a lot of things that you have to, a lot of things that's is promised to you or is predestined for you to have. The Most High sets it up that you pretty much have to grind for it, man. All right. You have to, in there, in, in everything, in, 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 in that process, you become made, M-A-D-E, all right? You become made through those trials. You become made through those afflictions, all right? You have to fit your crown, man. You have to, you have to earn your crown. That's another topic. You have to earn your crown, man, all right? Like I, like I quoted earlier, through much tribulation shall we inherit the kingdom, all right? So the kingdom is going to be translated from one nation to another. It's going to be translated pursuant to 2 Ezra 6 and 7 from the kingdom of Edom to the kingdom of Jacob. Or ultimately the kingdom of Yahweh Shai is really his kingdom that he's inheriting from his father Yahweh based on what he earned being on the planet Earth 2,000 years ago. And ultimately it was started prior to that uh, when he came as Adam and he kept coming back. All right. In perfection. All right. All right, coming back, going through his trial and error. So he came back in his completion as Yahweh Shai. And that's why he said when he was on the cross, it is done. Or that's why it was said, it is done. Okay? So now he's going to come back and receive his inheritance that he married it 2,000 years ago. All right? And we being joint heirs, we have to come back in our perfection. We have to go through those, those trials and partake in his sufferings, man. You have to earn your crown. Remember King David, man. Right, so although it was already written from the beginning that King David was gonna rule over Israel, he had to go through hell. All right, like I said, running from King Saul. All right, camping out in the wilderness. Okay, even before then, the Most High had to set up where, hey, he the Most High had to show that this is who I'm dealing with, because he didn't naturally look like a mighty man, like the apostles breaking it down. He was a, a tenderloin, man. He was a, a tender man, a, a, basically a pretty boy, man. Like these, like this, this picture of these, like, you know, you might got little brothers and little sisters, right? 
They watch these little young jakes that got those little those little dances, like those jakes that wear the mask and they do these little dances. Them guys, those guys are like 18, 19, you know, 17. Remember like Ray Shrummer and those guys? King David might have been like that, man. But that's who killed Goliath, man. All right? That's who killed Goliath. So the Mosai was already forging his character and, 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 and setting up who he wanted to rule in Israel. And, and, and he did that on the right-hand side because the elites do that on the left-hand side. They were already grooming, say, Barack Obama all right, and his teens to be their implant president, man. All right? Already, man. And, and, and 30 years ago, it might not have been plausible to believe that you have a so-called black president because really he was him, all right? But it, you, you wouldn't fathom that. But they had already groomed him to be president, right? Well, on the right hand side, you couldn't fathom King David in this in this, as a as a young man ruling over Israel, but he was already implanted by the Most High, and he was being groomed for that for that position, just like a puppet leader would. Devil, you know, you will see pictures of uh, like Bill Clinton shaking uh, some elite hand, and, and Bill Clinton would be like in college, like he was already being groomed for that position. And that's the left hand side. Showing you that these things are predestined, all right? Same thing with King David. The Mosai had already had a groom, man. Huh? All right? That the shepherd boy, you know, the the the, the baby of the family. Because the baby is usually tender. The baby of the family is going to rule over Israel, man. Huh? Okay? Unlike King Saul, he looked like a mighty man in his youth. All right? But that's pretty much the point, man. Huh? Remember King David. All because you have something predestined for you. That doesn't mean you don't have to grind to get it. You still have to grind to get it. But with that, I hope you brothers and sisters will edify to the next time. Shalom.